Italian firm CMC di Ravenna has denied any wrongdoing in the Aror and Kimware dam scandals that has three of its officials on the verge of arrest and prosecution in Kenya. The firm in a statement says it had no role to play in the negotiations to finance a project that resulted in a manipulation of the funds and a loss of close to 20 billion shillings of taxpayers' money. Here's NTV's Brenda Wanga with more. With the looming threat of the issuance of an international warrant of arrest for its CEO, CMC Di Ravenna, the company contracted to construct the dams at the heart of the multi-billion shillings scandal is distancing itself from the scam. In a statement, the company says it is certain of the correctness of the work of its company and its representatives, both in Italy and abroad, and in particular, of the contract involved. CMC entered into a financing agreement with the National Treasury that was converted into a commercial loan under unclear circumstances. That loan grew from 46 to 63 billion shillings, 17 billion shillings more than was needed. The National Treasury entered into a facility contract in euros, while the commercial contracts were in US dollars therefore occasioning further loss to the Kenyan government through exchange rates. The company now says that neither it nor its representatives took part in the negotiation and expresses its confidence that it will quickly clarify its own extraneousness to the facts under investigation. While the company fights to detach itself from the scandal, the DPP has insisted three of its officials have a case to answer alongside the CS and PS for Treasury and other suspects. According to the DPP, the company stands accused of getting the tender despite not performing on three other projects it had been awarded and submitting draft technical designs at the beginning of this year, four years behind schedule. The government is accused of awarding the contract to CMC despite knowing that the firm was facing financial challenges and was indeed heading into bankruptcy. The firm's website indicates that the company is in the safe hands of its CEO, Paolo Porcelli, who holds an engineering degree and has a wealth of experience in overseeing the execution of mega projects. He is particularly hailed for his critical role in securing and executing key infrastructure projects in Africa, a role and Kimware dams in Kenya included. The accusations notwithstanding, on the company's website, a different picture is presented. According to CMC, the realization of this artist's impression is well underway. Once completed, this patch of earth and Kimware will be turned into this expansive dam, and the same will be replicated in Aror. However, according to the DPP, the earth here hasn't even been excavated to kick off the construction. This despite the government spending 19.7 billion shillings on it so far. Brenda Wanga, NTV.